Hi, my name is Jovan and today you'll be learning how to do retargeting within Blender. I did include this process in a previous video on the Markerless Motion Capture software called Breckle, but I thought I'd make a shorter video because it is a really important part of animation and I thought I'd just make a quick video so you don't have to go back through the other one. So what you need to do is install an add-on called Rococo to Blender. To do this, just download it from the link in the description down below. Then go into Blender and go Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then press Install. Find the zipped file of your add-on, don't unzip it, otherwise it won't work. Double click on it to install and then just tick it to make sure it's enabled. Then close this window and go back into your Blender viewport. Press the N key on your keyboard to bring up the side menu add-ons and then you'll find a new tab saying Rococo. Click on this and then go down to the retargeting section. Then click source and select your source character. This is the one which you have the animations on already. Then choose a target character which is a character that you want to put the animations onto. Then just press build bone list. Here, it will automatically apply all the bones that it thinks go from the first character onto the second character. If there are any bones missing, you can look through the selection and change any, or you can just leave some blank as well because it will still work if you don't include the fingers or certain parts. Then just press retarget animation and that's it, you're done. The animations from your initial character have been retargeted onto your new skeleton. If there are any issues or if your skeletons are drastically different sizes, you can click auto scale and try to do the process again. But if that doesn't work, try going through the bones list and making sure that all the bones are actually in line with each other. So an easy way to do this is to go into the pose mode for both skeletons, see what the names for each bones are and make sure that they do correlate in your bones list. I hope you enjoyed this quick video and learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. I make four videos a month about Blender, Unreal Engine or something I find really interesting. So if you like what you saw and want to see more, please consider subscribing to check out more of these videos each week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.